Hi guys, this is going to be a tutorial to help you with smocking the angel stitch. I just want to apologize ahead of time if you if I have to pause in some weird space because there's some construction happening across the hall from me. So if I have some weird middle pause and you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I wanted to show you how you can turn this, the angel stitch, into this, which is a thicker, softer piece. As you can see, all the ties on the back. Uh, I'm, I use this for a, a pillow cover, so you can't see this part of it at all. And uh, you can find that on my shop. And then you want to have your pieces of string that we'll be using for tying. And what I did was I, I used about three fingers, and I would loosely, I make sure my fingers are spread so I don't get too small. I will loosely wrap it around several times, then cut the yarn, the bottom where I have my already first tail, and then I'll also cut my yarn down here at the bottom. So I have several little ties here, keep to the side. Okay, so have your piece with the rows going vertical, and this is the first row you did, so this is the bottom of your work. So you're always going to be skipping a row of color, then the white, and then a row of color. That's why I always recommend you use two different kinds of colors. It's going to make, you e make it easier for you to do. I also recommend that you do a few test patterns with me so that you can get it down by using white or another bright color you can see really well and then a darker color. It's going to make, make it much more easier to do a bigger project. So what you're going to do is the very first one is going to be the second skip the first row, do the second row down, and you're going to be the one, two, three, four, six, the fifth row over, one, two, three, four, five, here, and you're going to grab up the single crochet row of the angel stitch. So this top portion here is what you're going to be going into. And again, remember you're going to be skipping a color, the white color, and you're going into the fourth row over. And again, you're going to be picking up that single crochet row of the angel stitch here as well. Get a tie. And you're going to pull this tie through that first stitch and then grab your material going through that second stitch. Now hold one of your tails on this side and pull the other one through. And now you can make a tie. I recommend doing it a couple of times. I'm going to do it loosely because I'm not going to keep this piece. Now you're going to skip the very next row, which means these angel stitches, and go down to the next. So remember, skip a row, go down, and we're going to be using the same two stitches. So again, you're going to come here and get that row, single crochets as part of the angel stitch. You're going to sk st skip a colored row, white row, colored row, go into the white also using the single crochet part of the angel stitch and grab your yarn and pull it through both of those and I have a little bit of the other color whoops I'm gonna let that go grab my loop up here okay again you wanna hold on to only one pull the other one through and tie a couple of knots and keep moving down your row again find where you've tied the next row you skip then the next row is the one that you'll use again you'll go through the single crochet part skip the colored row white row colored row then grab the next white on the single crochet part of the angel stitch again pull your loops through holding one tail and then tie that's how you'll do your first row all the way down and you'll get something that looks like this. It's just a folded, folded piece of fabric right there. It doesn't look like much right now. So for row two, usually uh, you want to come above and do this one, but I recommend starting your row here because this is just going to make it difficult for you, especially at the beginning. Okay, for row two of your smocking, you want to go ahead and skip this top one for now. And then 
so you want to you want to start working the very first one and then just come back and do that one later first start working with the one uh, that you already did your ties with and find that middle row of the white just push it up there because remember we always skip a color white and a color now we're going to be using this white row here to do our second attachment like we did our very first row here we used it as we did we went through this row and then we grabbed this row now this is going to be this row has essentially become this row now this is the one we're going to be doing our second attachment so we need to find out where we need to come in so but once you find this one you can count back you can find it easy because remember this is where we're going to attach then you have a color a white and a color so you know those three are definitely a skip so you go to the very next white one here this will be where we can this is where we'll be making our first pickup on our single crochet row then we'll skip that color white color and go into the single crochet row the white that falls in between our two ties here so grab your tie up pull it through the first one, pull it through the second one. Again, hold on to one of your tails while you pull the other one through and make a couple of knots. Move it down, find your next two spots here, push that middle white row up, you can count back, color, white, color, you know that this next color is, I mean the next white is your correct row. Then you can skip color, white color, and go into your single crochet row. And this is what you're going to do all the way down your row. And I'll show you what it's starting to look like here on the other side. See, now it's starting to, let me back up a bit. Your material is starting to be smocked. And you'll continue to do the first and second row just like that. And I want to quickly show you how you start your next. Don't forget to do the very first stitch after you've done the second row. Come back up and do your very first stitch. So that way it makes it easier for you to find your next row. Okay, so this was the last row that we tied. So now we're in between. We need to work the ones in between and this is the white row that we used to make our first connection we went through here and then we came over and we found our next stitch so this is now going to become our second connection so we know we need to move over color white color and now we have white here so we're going to go in through that first white one skip the color white color find that other row that we were using before. Go into the single crochet version of that, of the angel stitch. Should say portion, and then you will tie, make a tie there. So again, once you make your first tie, you're going to skip the very next row, go to your next row, this is the white row that we're working on now. You'll want to skip color, white, color, and go into the next white. We're still using the row that we used for the first connection for our second connection, this row. And then you can make your tie. And again, skip the next row. And then in the next row, going into that white again, skip color, white color, find that second connection here to make your tie. And then if you flip it over, you can see now, whoops, back that up. You can see now that this, these, both these rows have been done. So this section is two rows of smocking, and this one is just one row. In the first row, you can always tell it's just one folded piece of material. So we want to continue 
Okay, for your second row of smocking, um, you're going, you can find where you need to do your next row by always going in between your two pieces here and pushing up that center white row. Once you have it, you can count color, white color, and then the next white is your entrance. So the second row of smocking is always uh, your stitch is always found in between. So you can count color, white color, go into this white here, the one that falls in between your two ties, and make your connection. And this one, the second row of smocking, you'll, you'll always have to come up and do that. Don't forget, you always have to come up and do that last one. Find your next two ties, push up that white, count over, push up the white, count color, white color, and you know the next white is the correct one. And you do your smocking like that for the second row. And again, don't forget to do this top one. So this would be the connection piece here. So count color. And do make sure you do that very last top stitch here. Then I can show you the back here. As you can see now it is being smocked. It, this whole piece is getting very textured and very thick. Now I want to show you one more time. You're going to need a lot of ties, by the way. I want to show you one more time how to start your next row. So again, find the place where you did your last connections. This was the first connection. So now this will become our second connection, like I told you before. So just find the in-between uh, one that wasn't used last row. So you have a tie here and a tie here. So this one is the one you didn't use on this row. So now you know this will become your connection piece, your second connection piece. So grab it and then you can count color, white, color, and then you know that this next white one here is where you're going to begin your next row. Remember, when you do your first row of smocking, it's always going to be on the row that you used to make your second connection. Just find those two knots in between, find the one that you didn't use, and this is how you will go along finding that first row. And the first row is always uh, difficult, but if you just remember that it is always going to be the middle one you didn't use, it'll be easier to find. Let me do a couple here. And then when, this is how you're making your initial folding of the material. That's row one. Now remember, the second row of smocking is easy to find because you know it's always the middle white row in between your ties. You know that's going to be your second connection. You can count from there color, white color, and the next white row is where you'll want to enter that single crochet portion of the angel stitch. And then you'll come up through the single crochet portion of the angel stitch on this side. And then you make your tie. I really hope this helps you guys to be able to smock your angel stitch into something else. If you want to find out the measurements and everything and how to make a pillow using this, then you can go ahead and click the link down below and you can buy the PDF from my shop. And it, the PDF comes with a bunch of pictures and hopefully it'll help you be able to see how to make this thing. Also, I have a tutorial on my site that's going to show you how to make the tassels too. So I hope with all this combined you'll be able to make your own material and your own pillows. So that's it guys. Thank you so very much for watching.